Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today I've got a mini review for you. This is on the Beta Flight F3 flight controller with a built in PDB. And I've already put this on a build, actually on two builds, and I am very happy with it now. Let's just really quickly go over some of the things on this board. Now, one of the things you want when you're building this, you know, you notice these are the pads for your ESCs to get power to them. And then on top is where you get signal to the ESCs, okay? And so they're laid out really well and in the order you would put them on your drone. Now, um, you know, it can make wiring these, you know, you when you wire up them to your ESCs, it can make it a little hard because they're on the bottom. What I do is I desolder all the wires going to the ESC on the ESC side. And then I just put this in my nice little quad hands and um, solder it up there. It works really slick. I kind of like getting either the PDB or the flight controller soldered up on the stand. It really makes it nice and easy. Um, a lot of a lot of copper on this, and and to that point, when you are soldering the ground, because the ground is all connected across. Um, all of this board, you're going to want to crank up your soldering iron because it's going to need that extra bit of power. And, you know, this has LED, obviously. Um, if you want to run, um, this has, I believe it's a 2 amp 5 volt built in regulator. You can see it right there. I believe it's 2 amp. And so if you are going to run, your VTX off of five, if your VTX requires five volts, like for instance, a TBS Unify, the standard one, then they suggest, Boris B suggests that you run that off of a separate back or a separate regulator so that you can um, not be kind of putting this under a load. So this um, powers all your other five volt stuff without any problem. If you need to power your camera to five volts, if you need to power some LEDs or whatever it is, this handles that, but they suggest if you are running five volts to your VTX, run a separate regulator. Now, if you're running straight LiPo power, then you can go off of just the standard VBAT off of this. And, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to go into all the specific details of everything this can do. Um, this is more of just kind of a layout um, and how clean you can just see how clean everything is. Now on the bottom here, I just wanted to kind of show you, you will see here, you've got these three pads here that say battery, RAM, five volts. And then on the other side, it has a three volt and a five volt. On the right side here, that is what you're going to choose if you have a spectrum you're going to bridge three volts if you don't if you have an fr sky you're going to bridge five volts now the ram side is this up here this flight controller has a built-in osd and it's a wonderful osd because you can you can program it and access it right through the beta flight um, gui and um, this is where you would mount your wires coming from your camera and coming from your your VTX and this RAM here that is where you choose what your flight controller is going to be accepting so if it's 5 volts you need to bridge 5 volts as you can see here I think you can let me make sure that you can get that close enough yeah there we go if it's 5 volt like a TBS Unify you're going to bridge 5 volts if it's straight lipo power then you're going to bridge RAM and VBAT, meaning straight LiPo, and then you have your ground. Um, underneath it is you've got your ground, your 5 volts, and your receiver. And then towards the bottom here, you've got another. This is RX2 and TX2 for different, if you want telemetry or different things. Um, and then here we've got ground, 5 volt, and LED for your programmable LEDs. And then on the bottom, this is actually where you would hook up your S-Bus receiver or your Spectrum receiver. And when you chose 5 or 3 volts, that is what that pad is going to be sending, 5 or 3 volts, okay? So pretty well laid out, real easy. You know, this is one of those boards that you don't even have to really um, search it 
any kind of information, you could figure it out on your own. For the most part, if you're, you know, more of an advanced, um, this builder, this allows you to um, record your black box. And that's for your little micro SD card. And that slips in there. Uh, it's just kind of give you an overlook. Like we said here, the motor tabs are all laid out really easily. You know, I wish they would have the writing on the top because it makes it a lot easier, but it's not a big deal. It's something we've kind of learned to grow with. And um, this is where we've got the ground coming in from our XT60. This is where we have the power coming in or our positive coming in from the XT60. And other than that, it's just pretty straightforward, but it has everything. You know, they say that this is allows you to access every single option under beta flight. You know, your programmable LEDs, your programmable OSD. And here we've got a, a place for a buzzer. Um, and it's really just straightforward. Uh, the boot button on, uh, is on the outside. Joshua Barduel made a comment on how nice it is to have it on the outside, and I would agree that way you don't have to take take a, the off the top plate. Sometimes you have to to get to some of the ones that are in the middle. So that's really about it, guys. Pretty standard layout as far as what is available, um, with the exception, you know, there is um, OSD on this and not all boards and a lot of them actually do not have OSD and this is programmable right through your beta flight flight can or GUI. So, um, really great option. So that is the beta flight flight controller and PDB from Boris B. And thanks so much guys for hanging with me. Check out my website, xframesfpv.com. And I hope you get some time to fly. 